Hi guys, this is another video of 89C51 microcontroller based projects that I used to do a couple of years back. The title of this project is Servo Controller for DC Motors and in this project we are trying to implement PID algorithm to control the rotation of the DC motor by getting the feedback from the optical encoder uh, which is mounted on the shaft of this motor. Basically encoder pulses are fed to the micro main microcontroller and there is a counter for the encoder pulses. We will enter the target value by using this keypad. So when the number of pulses coming from the encoder, they are getting closer and closer to the target value, they, the speed of the motor should follow the PID algorithm output and as soon as it reaches the desired value, the motor should stop. So first of all, we will see the output of the project and then I'll explain the code briefly in the video later. So let's play the simulation here. We have an oscilloscope here that will show the output of the PWM that is being fed to L298 which actually controls the speed of the motor. So let's start with some value, we just put 500 and we press this button. Now this value here is showing the value for the pulse width modulation and this value is representing the encoder pulses. Let me enter some other value. So you can see that initially when the error between the encoder pulses and the desired uh, number of pulses is very high, the, the pulse width was 255, that is the full pulse. And now since it's very near to the desired value, the pulse width is getting lower and lower and lower until it reaches the desired value and the pulse width is zero now. So let's see the rotation of the motion in simulation here. Uh, the motion, motor is rotating at its full speed. And now the speed of the motor is getting slower until it will stop. It is stopped. The output response of the motor depends on the proportional derivative and integral constants that you can set in the code. So let's have a look at the code. So actually this is the code. We are finding the error between the actual position and the set point. So this variable is the error between the set point and actual position. For the proportional controller, I am multiplying this uh, KP, which is proportional constant, which is with the error. Now this thing is to normalize the error so that it's the the maximum value of the error should be 255, and the minimum value obviously it's zero. So this is the integral controller. So we are multiplying the error value with the with DT and with the integral controller, and this is the differential controller we are getting the difference between the current and previous error value and we are dividing it with the same dt and multiplying with the differential constant. So this is how we implement the uh, PID in the servo controller for the DC motors. So this is all for the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Bye.